Hi, this is Tom Larson with Tech Training for Teachers. In today's video tutorial, we are revisiting the topic of a previous recording that involved using a document camera during a live Google Meet. Let's get started. For today's demo, I'll be using a Chromebook, the IPvo 4K USB document camera, and the IPvo Visualizer Chrome app. I'll provide a link to these resources in the video description. Also, I need to point out that regardless of whether you are using a Chromebook, Mac, or PC, the steps and procedures used today are going to essentially be the same regardless of the platform you're using. To begin, I'll plug the dock camera into an available USB port on my computer. Next, go ahead and launch a Google Meet. When you arrive in the waiting room, it is likely Meet will automatically select your dock camera as the one that will be used during the Meet. If this happens, click More Options and then Settings. In the Camera tab, choose your computer's built-in webcam. I'll explain why we need to do this shortly. Now that your webcam is selected, we need to go ahead and launch the Visualizer software. After getting it up and running, it's important to not minimize the program. Doing so may prevent Chrome from picking it up as a source that can be presented to students. Come back to your Meet and click the Present Now icon. From the set of options, choose a window and then the IPvo Visualizer application window. Students can now see everything I am doing when using the document camera. And because I am still using my webcam as my primary camera, they are also able to see my face while instruction is taking place. What you are seeing right now is the student view. As just stated, they can see the view from the doc cam as well as my webcam view. So much is lost when students aren't able to see the face of his or her teacher, but if you use this workflow using the steps we have presented here today, this visual disconnect should no longer be an issue. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email. And if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe and click the notification icon so you are alerted when new content is posted.